This dalmatic is one in a set of gold vestments used by the Jesuits of Holy Family Parish, the first Jesuit parish in Chicago. Although their use has declined since the liturgical reforms of the Second Vatican Council, dalmatics were recognizable to 19th century Catholics as the liturgical vestment worn by deacons assisting at the celebration of a high mass. Dalmatics consist of a sleeved robe with open sides below the shoulders. Most also feature two decorative stripes running vertically from the shoulders down. This gold dalmatic, probably purchased in Paris, helped to transport the grandeur of European Catholicism. For the community of working class urban immigrants who gathered in faith on Chicago's west side in the late 19th century, such as Charles Comiskey, the founding owner of the Chicago White Sox. Holy Family Parish was established by the Dutch Jesuit Arnold Damon in 1857 with the church building dedicated in 1860. Its towering Gothic edifice stood at what was then the edge of Chicago and the open prairie, and its stained glass and intricate carvings created a place of beauty for the German and Irish Catholic immigrants then rapidly settling the city's outskirts. A city guidebook in 1866 declared, no mere words will convey a true idea of its splendor. High mass amid the monumental architecture at Holy Family required vestments of comparable luxury. In 1863, Father Cornelius Marius, another Dutch Jesuit working with Father Damon, acquired the first set of gold vestments for the parish in Paris. These rich, intricately patterned garments were worn only at solemn masses for Christmas, Easter, and other major celebrations. The investment in gold dalmatics, worn only by the deacons assisting the priest on such high occasions, was a material expression of the Jesuits' optimism for Chicago and ambition for their urban mission. That the Jesuits at Holy Family would acquire vestments from Europe also indicates the transatlantic nature of the 19th century American Catholic Church which still derived its leadership and much of its identity from Europe. Despite its age, this dalmatic is well preserved in part because it spent much of the 20th century locked deep in a parish safe, used to protect chalices, crowns, candlesticks, and other valuables. As the neighborhood around the parish fell on hard times and the church's congregation dwindled, the combination to the safe was forgotten. The church was closed because of disrepair in the 1980s, but parishioners spearheaded its revival and restoration a decade later. In 2002, current parish administrator, Father Jerry Boland, hired a locksmith to open the forgotten safe and rediscovered the dalmatic and many other treasures of Chicago's first Jesuit parish.